Okay, ladies and gents, are we live? Welcome back to another video by the People's Champion, the Macho Man, Robot Savage. And today, I'm gonna finally show you the all new Twin Suns build. Now, some of you may have seen this on stream, you know, uh, me having literally a nuclear bomb loaded into. Uh, this gun and I'll show you how to build it all right starting out with the twin sons you've got a berserker cell and a tenacious cell now key thing <clears throat> if you find it hard to survive for whatever reason change this tenacious cell to a parasitic cell okay like that it will not alter your damage a lot but it will up your survivability by a huge amount so if you find it hard to survive do that if you're okay though Berserker Cell, Tenacious Cell, and this is the way that I use it and the way you see it on stream. Twin Suns, Barrel, none of this can be changed, but the mod, Precision Sights. If you've seen my recent video on which mod is the best and the chamber test as well, please note Precision Sights is hands down the best and you're going to see that in action shortly. Okay? Great. Discipline is going to be your Omnicell of choice and for the repeaters, this is Camera focus on me. Okay, for the, for the repeaters, the Discipline Omnicell is the best. Hands down. Hands down all around. Discipline is the key. Okay? Okay, great. Now, uh, if you have trouble using it, I suggest you check my guide on how to properly use the Discipline Cell because punching stuff is really great. Okay. Lantern, Koshai's, standard for Discipline builds. Etheric Attunement will be your cell here. Your helmet is going to be your Sight of Stone, Toughness Cell. <coughs> this is to offset Discipline and also give you more hit points for Tenacious. Thrax's Shadow, Cunning Cell. Okay, standard. Malkyrion's Grasp, Predator Cell. And last but not least, Boreal March with a Berserker Cell. Okay, what does this build give you overall? Let's talk perks. Plus 6 Berserker. Up to 35% bonus damage amazing stuff you don't want to miss out the hp loss is more than compensated by the damage cunning 10 percent more critical strike chance and 30 percent more critical strike damage paired with the discipline omni cell you've got a total critical strike chance of 20 percent and 40 percent overall increased critical strike damage so that's a 1.9 multiplier now when you are empowered you gain 40 percent crit rate thanks to the twin suns so you have 60 percent crit rate with 1.9 times damage, and then lots of basic damage multipliers too. That's how this gets so crazy. Predator, now when you don't take damage, you deal 35% increased damage. It's a boom shakalaka. Tenacious, with this build, you've got 1,300 hit points. That means 26% bonus damage as long as you don't, um, as long as you've got full hit points. Now you really shouldn't be taking damage with this build, so this should be maintained. Um, toughness, to offset discipline when you do need to heal, okay? It's your survivability in case shit goes wrong. And shit does occasionally go wrong. You're not invulnerable here. And I'm sure that unlike most of the uh, so-called top tier, you do not hack, so clearly you're gonna need some survival. Now, Etheric Attunement uh, will help you recharge your lantern faster, and last but not least, Evasive Fury comes baseline with the Twin Suns. 8% attack speed for 20 seconds when you dodge an attack, and you'll be dodging a lot, so this is very good. Okay? Great. Now you've seen the build, you're gonna get to see it in action. Okay? I, now, this is one of the few combat showcases that I highly recommend you watch and check out. But if you don't want to, that's completely fine. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe right now. You can also drop a tip via the link in the description of the video if you want to keep my content running. Because don't forget, you you guys pay me. I, I don't get paid, okay? I don't get paid by anybody. You guys pay me. So you want to keep my content running? Drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can also choose to send a super thanks on YouTube or purchase Asian robot merchandise via my shop link in the description of the video. Let us get straight into the combat showcase right now, loading into the hunting grounds. We will go straight to, you know what? This build is fucking badass. Let's go straight to Frost March, seven to 10 area. You know, no fucks given. Let's do this. Look at all these people saying hello. They scare me. Although occasionally I do meet some nice uh, fans that recognize me, so that's pretty nice. Okay, there we go. Put my Asian robot banner there. 
Excuse me. Excuse moi. Now, let's get ready to do this shenanigans. I love, I love the lo-fi. Okay. Yeah, look at that swag right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, well, looks like we got a little Quilly. A Quilly boy. A Peter Quill. Or is that an Azog? I can't tell. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a Quilly boy. Okay. So the way this build starts out, very simple. Aim for the part that you want to smash. Okay. Get your mind out of the gutter. And just start shooting. Now, if you do take a hit or take damage, use your Koshai's. You will lose your Predator bonus, but it's really not a big deal. Don't forget to use your uh, your dodging and your everything um, as much as you like. Load up your mag bombs, and here we go. Bang! It's already at half health. You see how that works? And this is even with me losing the occasional predator bonus. Oops, sorry, I couldn't trigger my fists fast, fast enough. Blah! Leave me alone, you stupid fast behemoth. How dare you? Little punk. I'm gonna have to uh, punkerize him once I get the chance. Now, instant health restore. <laughs> you like that? I love that. Alright, back at full health. Oh, come on. Attacking me while I'm... While I'm busy? Not cool. Anyway, as you can see, you've got literally the power of a nuclear bomb in your hand. You can see how much damage your mag bombs do, and once you've got that precision sight, you start out... This is level 1 repeaters versus that level 8 quill shot. Okay? I don't have to tell you that that was a fast fucking fight. Keep in mind, level one, level one. Okay, this is this is the kind of build that gets you strong right off the bat. All right, let's go to the next creature, wherever the hell it is. And whomever the hell it is, okay, it's a it's a little pongar, as I like to call them. Roll, roll, roll. Now, ideally, you will want to um, focus on the same part for all your little bonuses, all right? But that's okay even if you don't. Because bang! <laughs> I love this part. Oh, I messed that up. Sorry. Didn't mean to, but I will. Now, just focus on the same part and you will dish out the most damage using your precision sights. And also, your lovely crits will come into play and, well, bad things will happen to your opponents. Um, this is basically how we do it and, you know, if you know how to knock down certain creatures, it's also very easy to uh, enjoy in this manner. Bang, 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 bang. And there. Pengar, dead. Okay, you can see that there is very little effort required. That was a level 9 Pangar, and that was level 1 Repeaters. Now your Repeater is level 2. Do you need more of a combat showcase? I think you do. Let's let's do one more just to showcase the prowess of this. You know, because I think you can understand exactly where this is coming from and why this works. Okay, let's do, let's do a Deep Frost Nasher. Now keep in mind, the great benefit of this is that uh, overall you don't have to think too hard with this build. You really don't. Dodge attacks, blow up beavers. Oh 
man. That was my mess up. And once you get your extra critical damage, it's basically a guaranteed critical strike chance, so... Especially with these, so I love it. It's just glorious to see all of that in action. And then, thank you Discipline Omnicell, because... Here comes the big bada bing bada boom. Okay, this level 9 beaver is almost dead. There we go. Discipline punch and you are dead. So ladies and gents, that is how you utilize the uh, nuclear twin suns. Alright, with Precision Sights mod, this is one of the strongest builds out there. Okay, so enjoy yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support my content, as always, drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. It would be basically how I feed my family because you guys pay me, nobody else does. Thank you very much if you decide to do that. You can also send a super thanks on YouTube or you can purchase Asian Robot merchandise via my store link in the description of my video. Okay? Thank you all so much and I will see you all in the next one. And let's move over to the thank you scene. Thank you to August Top Tippers, Bravo7910, Goosey Marie, Krampus Reborn, Resmark4, Lewis Grave, FNX Killer43, Limitsuki PC, and Zabi Uzumaki. Thank you all so much, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Oh yeah.